Hey guys, it's Craig with Area 419. A common question we've gotten with our M series sizing dies, and it would be relevant with the coming S series as well, is how we are setting and maintaining neck tension. So I want to take a moment to talk about what is neck tension, how is neck tension set, and then what does that mean for the design of our sizing dies? So let's get to it. In short, neck tension is the difference in size of the inside diameter of a sized piece of brass and the outside diameter of the projectile that would like to be seated into it. For this video, I'm gonna use everything around the six millimeter bullet size, so 0.243 or 243 thousandths of projectile diameter. A common neck tension that people might shoot for is two thousandths of neck tension. What this means is after you size the brass, the inside diameter of the neck will be 241 thousandths which is two thousandths, that's where your neck tension number comes from, which is two thousandths tighter than the outside diameter of that six millimeter or 243 projectile. What this difference does is creates an interference fit, which then creates tension or pressure or hold onto that projectile. You have to have neck tension or else you load your rounds and your, your bullet might, might push down in or under recoil, that bullet might move around. So you need some amount of neck tension. The two ways to get a neck tension number or an inside diameter of your case are sizing it finally from the outside with something like a bushing or from the inside with a mandrel. These bushing dies became popular because it was the way to exert the minimal amount of sizing on your necks. Annealers were certainly not adva as advanced as what you'll find in something like an annealing made perfect. So guys were looking for the absolute least amount of movement or work of that neck possible. The downside that we found to bushings, however, in an age where brass is much better and annealing practices are significantly advanced, is it is an additional place for tolerance stack in a die setup, and it is also sizing from the outside and not accounting for any variability that you may find in brass wall thickness. You may find this as splitting hairs, but that's exactly what we were doing in our design to try to eliminate all possible variables and make it the simplest reloading die to use on the market. So a bushing die, and we'll show it in a graphic, is going to come down and it's going to compress the outside of that neck until the inside gets to the number that we're looking for. If you're looking for two thousandths of neck tension with a six millimeter, you might need something like a 236 bushing if you've got 13 thousandths a side of wall thickness to do the math and get that down to about that 241 number. The other option in the route that we took, chose to take with the uh, zero sizing dies is to size that neck down in a single full length, all one piece reamer cut chamber to the point that our neck is sized down further than we would want it to finally be. And then as you pull your brass out of that die on a downstroke, we have a precision ground expander mandrel built into the die that is then going to expand that neck to the final size that we're looking for. So if you're looking for a final neck size of 241 thousandths, the expander mandrel from us that you're gonna pull through is going to be just fractionally larger than 241, so, so 2415 or so, so that when you spring back, you get to that number. You're gonna pull that through and that's going to size your neck up to meet the final size that you would like it to be. As far as interchangeability, bushings are obviously something that you can pull out and inter interchange. Our mandrels are something that you are getting a two thousandth, two thousandths mandrel in with your die, or you can pick up a pack of mandrels that are going to give you different amounts of neck tension that you can size and use as you please. So guys, this is how we're setting neck tension. We think that inside neck tension is the way to do it, whether you're doing it with our die and our pull-through mandrel, or you're doing it with something separate like a, uh, a k and or 21st century style push up mandrel, which is also a, a very popular way to do it. We know which one we prefer. What do you do and what do you prefer? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks guys.